so this this is a very famous equation uh, all disaster management uh, people they use it frequently disaster is equal to hazard times vulnerability times exposure and hazard times vulnerability is risk right so please clear this terminology once for all that uh, the word risk is made from hazard and vulnerability hazard means the phenomena itself earthquake its occurrence how frequently it can occur what is the probability of its occurrence this is hazard right vulnerability means that what is the quality of construction right which will handle that hazard what how uh, good or bad our buildings are in appropriate built environment will result in high vulnerability right good quality buildings will result in low vulnerability right so when you multiply hazard level with vulnerability level you get risk level right so there are countries which have very high hazard like japan but also very low vulnerability because their building stock is very good quality so this results in a low risk although very high hazard right but what is our case very high hazard at the same time very high vulnerability this result in very very high risk right very very high risk seismic risk so please do not interchangeably use the word risk and hazard hazard is the phenomena itself right and risk will not become a disaster until you have an exposure right if you have very poor buildings constructed in a very high seismically active area but no one is residing in those buildings no disaster right exposure means how much people are exposed to that risk if no one is exposed to that risk there will be no disaster right so exposure is also a component of disaster so we have uh, very high risk coming from a very high hazard and a very high vulnerability and a huge population exposed to that risk right sometimes even you have a low risk but your exposure is that high that ultimately you can have a disaster for example southern part uh, mostly southeastern part karachi for example have a moderate level seismicity low to moderate level seismicity but it is all full of high rise buildings and dense densely populated buildings right so very high exposure so even a low to moderate level earthquake can cause significant uh, you can disaster right so please just keep that equation in mind always whenever you use these words they are not in they cannot be interchangeably used they have a very specific meaning so generally we say that uh, this is one of the misconceptions in public that that earthquake earthquake hazard is increasing or number of earthquakes is increasing with time if you understand the whole science of earthquakes you will find that there is no indication or no evidence that the number of earthquakes are increasing with time they are actually uh, getting recorded more and more with time but uh, the number of uh, earthquakes is not increasing the phenomena is that grand scale level that our narrow slice in our 100 200 500 years we cannot find any pattern that they are increasing with time so if you for example imagine a scenario that you have a you have the data for uh, like 10000 years of earthquakes let's assume for the sake of argument then you may find few earthquakes of magnitude 7 or 8 or high magnitude earthquakes which are concentrated in a certain particular time but that will be just by chance right uh, because uh, if you have more and more data you include more and more data you will see that all the major earthquakes are distributed randomly across the history so there is no pattern that they are increasing with time right what is increasing with time is the risk hazard is constant hazard is not increasing with time risk is increasing because our vulnerability is increasing right vulnerability increasing means that we are constructing more and more poor buildings our population is more and more exposed and start living in those poor buildings so ultimately 
our risk is increasing right so this difference please keep in mind always now a, a quick introduction of the hazard assessment process the first thing is that we fixed one of the hazard only for our scope we are only talking about ground shaking hazard this hazard right so no surface rupture no other hazards only ground shaking hazard so uh, uh, and uh, we know that ground motion is the pre predominant cause of damage from earthquakes rupture only occur in only few of the cases and uh, i mean only few of the structures can experience that rupture but ground shaking is experienced by uh, all structures right so we will be focusing on earthquake ground motion hazard only and in our case the risk equation will become this one seismic hazard or ground shaking hazard times seismic vulnerability will become seismic risk right 